Hello, Stitchy friends. Welcome to my channel. I'm Linda and this is uh, my 144 hobbies. Um, and as I mentioned, I think the other uh, floss tube that I should change that name to 144 whips. <laughs> Uh, I guess this is number 20, so yay me! Um, thank you for uh, returning and for all the new ones. I hope you hit that subscribe button and yeah, uh, and that you will return back. So thanks everyone for the new subscribing and for all of you who's been with me from the beginning. Um, today I feel like I don't know what to talk about really. Uh, so I will try to fill the, the time a little with questions and comments and some new releases and what things I enjoy about cross stitching. Uh, it is the 15th of August today. It was my birthday this Thursday on the 13th and I had Well, it was a normal day. I'm not the kind who's you know have a big party or anything But I do appreciate that people tells me happy birthday uh, but I worked all day and When I got home I uh, I was expecting to sit and stitch all day, uh, but I was so tired, so I just crawled into bed with my Ben and Jerry and some potato chips and dip and Netflix, and I was there all evening. And I enjoyed that, so I had a good birthday. Um, so yeah, um, let's start with uh, some questions. Um, Nanny Yang uh, asked me if I complete my crosses as I stitch. And um, well, I, I prefer to finish, you know, uh, the stitch. Um, so the, I guess I do that most of the time, um, but uh, I've learned that if you kind of do, you know, the half stitch going one way and then the other half of the stitch going back the other way, uh, it saves you like about 9% uh, of thread. So <laughs> I'm thinking about that a lot and I try to save thread, you know. So, and it also depends on how I'm traveling across the fabric and the pattern. So sometimes I need to finish the stitch because I want to get to one side. And sometimes I need to do halfway and halfway to get back to where I was. So, but I prefer to finish the whole cross. Um, yeah, and she also asked if I set a goal to how many stitches I want to finish. Uh, like now when I have a plan for a week that I'm going to stitch these different designs. And no, I don't um, set up goals. Uh, I try not to. Sometimes I do if I join a challenge or so. Uh, but I try not to do it because... I tend to set very high uh, goals, which I can't achieve usually. Uh, and then I feel like I'm failing. So I try not to, uh, but sometimes I do think it's fun, you know, to see, let's see if I can do, I think heaven and earth is like having a 10,000 stitch uh, challenge. Uh, I think it's 10,000 or is it 25,000? I can't remember. And you know, 
it's like for a whole month or something or two months and you feel like well that's achievable so yeah then I could join um, um, I think I rather prefer to document what I've been working on and how much uh, did I work on it uh, so yeah I try not to set goals um, I don't know if I wrote this down. I will take it right away because I, I might forget. Somebody asked me how long my lengths are uh, that I'm stitching on, I think. Or how do I cut them on my floss cards? I'm not sure, but I know I wrote. I will try to show you on my floss too. So this is one of the floss cards uh, for my um grandma strip that i've been stitching on this week and most of the times uh, the threads comes like in a long length on the card so there's a loop here at the end so i will show you here on this one you see there's um, a loop there and then I just, I just throw the scissors on the floor. Yeah, of course. I have so many things. I have very little space. Uh, so yeah, I just take the loop like that and run the scissors through and cut. So the ends become, you know, cut ends. And then you can pull a single thread from the ring without having to remove the floss from the rings. And that is a time saver, I'm telling you. So that's how I do. And let's see. Mm. I will put pull a thread Let's remove that. Let's uh, pull a thread from the one that I cut. So I usually take I take my needle. Now I don't have a needle, so I t just take the scissors. So I've caught a single strand and I just pull. No nuts. Nothing, no fuss. And so, so it depends on how the one who made the floss card, how they have put the floss on the card. That will, you know, um, tell how long my thread will be. So this thread is like a little bit longer than uh, holding it here. And that is usually uh, the length of the thread that I, if I pull it myself, you know, from uh, from a bobbin or something. So this works for me. I'm not saying that it's the right way or anything. Um, I do know somebody said somewhere that if you have a very long thread, uh, it will take you a longer time to you know, stitch because you have to pull that long thread. So if you shorten the thread, uh, you use a little bit, it will go faster. You will have to switch thread more often, but the, the stitching will go faster. And I tend to keep that a little bit in mind because that is something I try to be fast because I don't have that much time. Uh, since I'm working full-time and all that. So when I stitch, I want to be fast. So that was that. I hope that helped. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, uh, I think everyone who um, gave me their opinion and advice, uh, and advice about the long dog sampler uh, the pandemic about if I should keep it as it is or if I should switch uh, the threads on the animals 
and like all of you said just go with what you thought from the beginning it looks great so thanks everyone i will just keep on with my the thought i had from the beginning i think that will be good yeah um i wonder if there is um yes uh lori kilner wonders which app i'm using when i'm stitching so when i stitch my um my heaven and earth designs and even the long dog is compatible i use uh the um, and now i lost my a train of thought oh. oh the app is called pattern keeper and it's for android so you if you have an ipad you can't use it not yet anyway uh, but it's the androids and it's just the best app ever it's worth every cent or a dollar whatever you call it um so i haven't used any other kind of pdf reader or anything uh, i just i mainly just stitch my heaven and earth there otherwise i use a a paper copy uh, and mark it off with a marker um oh yeah and uh, laurie she sent me her uh, um the cross stitch uh project she's stitching on which is uh apple harvest and she's stitching it on 14 ada i will put in her progress picture here i asked her if i could share it because uh, i thought it was a very sweet design and I think it's great that we can share our projects with each other. Uh, so yeah, I think it's a, a challenge. I think she said it was uh, about 20 pages. So it's a full coverage and she told me there was a lot of confetti in it. So yeah, it's very sweet. And she's enjoying that. So that's great. Uh, Rebecca Gary uh, recommended uh, me to to start stitching like six inches off the fabric at the ends uh, because I was having trouble with my quantum frame that it doesn't hold the tension uh, and it says if I start stitching si six inches from um, the edge of the fabric I would have plenty of fabric to roll around the rods um and i'm thinking yeah that's true if i have a lot of fabric that's no problem uh, but i think she also means that if i based some fabric on to the fabric uh that will give me it will give me that uh, more uh, to roll around the rods i think so that is actually a, a thing i could try i think i will try that and uh, Lorraine Perkins, uh, she advised me to go to the hardware store and get some thicker dowels for the, for the rods. <clears throat> and that is also very interesting. Um, I will have to ask my husband for some help and I, have, I haven't talked with him about that yet, but that is also an advice I just find it I know we can fix this it's like with I'm sorry it's it's the same thing with diamond paintings that uh, I feel like you order something it's handmade you pay for it um, it's not cheap and I as a customer kind of uh, I don't want to kind of offend anyone so don't take it the bad way i just find it if i if i buy a product i expect it to work um for what it's uh made for so even though we can fix things so it works the way we want want it to work um i mean that's great of course because otherwise we couldn't use things since it's not 
um, working the way we're expecting. Um, so, but since I paid for it and I'm expecting it to work, I, I don't, I don't want to be the one fixing it to work because it should work from the beginning. Same thing with diamond paintings, uh, not all, some uh, double adhesive uh, diamond paintings you order and I expect it to be, uh, I mean, not, not all of them are cheap and when you get them, you know, there's bubbles and rivers and whatever and people saying, yeah, but you, you know, you cut them or you lay them flat or you do this or you do that. So you get rid of them. And I'm like, when I pay for a product like that, I expect it to be, uh, I don't, ex I don't, I don't want to fix the stuff before I can, you know, put the drills down or start stitching on it. I hope you understand, but that's uh, my thought on things. And I think it's great for all the advice that, you know, I have uh, fixed the weave so I can stitch on it. And I will continue with that, of course. And I will probably also order a another quantum frame. So, but yeah, I just, it, it, annoys me a little bit that I have to fix something I bought for something before I can use it. Yeah. So we'll leave it at that. Thanks for all the advice. I will, I'm not, I'm not sure about the dowel because I know me and my husband, we're not like, yes, let's go and fix this. <laughs> so, but it will be like the last thing I will try if the other things doesn't work. So, um, <clears throat> and Sheila Bell, uh, I asked about the Krennic, if you use it as it comes off the spool or if you, you know, split the threads, you know, pull strands of threads like you do on DMC. But she told me you use it as it comes. And then she tried to explain a little bit on with pulling a strand and a loop and pulling it double through the needles and stuff. I didn't really understand that. So I guess I'm a little bit of a visual person. So I would have to see like on floss tube. If you have a floss tube video on that, please get back to me and I would like to uh, take a look and see if I understand it better. Yes. Um, So yeah, and uh, Lisa and Tracy, <laughs> Tracy, crazy Tracy, <laughs> she, uh, oh my God, I, you know, her last floss tube, she, she told us of her daughter who's stitching pandemic with her and um, she had started another heaven and earth and I don't know how it was, but her daughter has come to the conclusion that she finds it more fun to stitch when there is a color variation, you know, you switch colors and everything. So she didn't want to continue with pandemic because it was all black. But if they got some different threads, you know, colors, she would like to continue with the <laughs> pandemic. So Tracy pulled out her threads and said, just take a pick, you know, and she picked some, I think she said like five different colors. And here's the funny thing. I'm like, that woman must have the patient of, no, the patience of patient, patience. Well, she pulled out all the black from pandemic. So her daughter could restart with color thread. I have no more to say about that. <laughs> I was like, no way. You didn't. Uh -huh. She did. What a mom. Uh, and um, 
I will link Trace's channel, of course. And then we have Lisa Stitch Stitching and S Lisa Stitching and Such. She's stitching the fan. The, it's a it's a quick quick stitch, but it's not. But it's it's a heaven and earth quick stitch, and uh, it's the Phantom of the Opera. So it's a part of a bookshelf, and it's like breathtaking. Go over to her channel and take a look because, I mean, you we can look at these heaven and earth patterns on pictures and we're like, yeah, they're nice. And sometimes we say, no, it's not so nice. But when you see someone stitch it up and especially when you get to see it on floss tube, you're like, oh my God, I need to have that pattern. <laughs> yeah. So go, go take a look at that. And, uh, yeah, it's so nice. I mean, that crystal, what do you call it? La lamp? That thing hanging from the roof? It's like, wow! So beautiful, really, so beautiful. I'm almost this close to get get the, the pattern myself. It's really nice. And Lisa also re recommended, if she said, if you like lace and lavender, <laughs> and Mirabilia's, you should go and check out Bella Filipina. No, Bella Filipina. <laughs> and Joanne Elliot. <sighs> and there was another one. No, those were the two. Yep, I haven't ordered anything. I was very close, very close. Um, they have some very nice designs. Not as many as Mirabilia. There are a few where I feel like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yes. Uh, Joanne Elliott has one called The Earth Goddess. If I remember, I will put a picture up here. Very, very beautiful. And then the Bella Filipina. Um, there's a few, but uh, there's one that is catching my eye all the time. And that is also like, was it Earth Fairy, maybe? Also, I will put a picture here. And Hawkins have had that. It's out of stock now, so I don't know if they're getting it back. Uh, but maybe I could get the pattern from elsewhere and ask them if they would like to help me kit it up. So, but I have a few Mirabilias left that I really, 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 really want to have as a kit. So, yeah but they were very nice, very nice. And talking about Mirabilia, oh my God. Oh my God. Today is the 15th and they released a new big Mirabilia and it's called the real, no, the, oh, uh, not the real, Ro Regent, Regent Queen Bee. Oh. Why? Why do you have to release so many in a year? I've just gotten the last one you released. Um, the flower dancer, dancing flower. I just got her. <laughs> and I was like, well, okay, next month, you know, I can at least order that and that, you know, older mirrors. And you're like, how, how? It was very nice. The picture on Hawkins Hobbies uh, um, page on fe Facebook was a little bit blurry, so it was hard to see all the details. And when I went to Mira's uh, homepage, I, there was no picture of her there. So I couldn't, you know, zoom in and look at all the nice details, but it looks quite cool. You know, she has some th um, things going on over her, like, uh, I think it's Rapunzel. 
or is it Alice in Wonderland maybe? They have like a, a frame around them or something and on top of the queen bee here there's like this where the bees lay the honey it's so cool this is really nice and like the gypsy queen there's some checker pattern on her dress it's so cool you know what i'm gonna do right you just know i'm gonna email hawkins hobbies yes <laughs> so yeah um let's uh, head over to the whips because i have no finishes I have no finishes. I have three whips. I was going to work on my Mirabilia portrait of portrait of Veronica. It looks like this. She's so beautiful. And this these colors. I wish I could stitch them faster. And I could if I only only stitched my mirrors. These would go fast. But if you're a multi-whipper, you know, what can we do? Let's look at the progress. I only worked on her two evenings, I think. But I, I could, you know, work on her more, but so this is it. Nice. Somebody was saying, I think it was um, Aussie Stitcher. She was playing peekaboo. So, peekaboo. Yeah, it looks very nice. And I was saying last floss tube that maybe I would start a wheel and kind of see which mirror I'm going to work on. Uh, the coming week but then I was thinking then you're never ever ever gonna finish a Mirabilia so I think I will wait for that anyway the fabric is 32 count um, linen the called for and I'm stitching with the DMC two over two so that's that and then we have my Jane Harth 1868 sampler by Hands Across the Sea. I gave that some time as well. Um, I don't remember where I were the last time, but I will remove it from my frame. It's stitched on 40 count linen. I think it's Newcastle linen. And I'm using the Soy Doll Share threads. Let's not knock the coffee over. I'm gonna, I'm gonna knock the coffee over. Yep. So it's actually halfway done. The thread, uh, no, not the whole thing. The frame is uh, halfway done. Also very easy, simple stitching and the colors are just amazing, amazing, very relaxing stitching. And it's the first time I'm stitching on 40 count and I was so scared, but why should I? I mean, it's not hard at all. My eyes are fine with it. So I could almost think that I would like to stitch a heaven and earth on a 40 count two over two i mean you could finish and start with the pin stitches like with no trouble whatsoever uh, it's not that big of a problem on one over one but it's easier when you're stitching one over two yes and i'm using one uh, strand of thread of silk thread over two uh, strands of the fabric so i'm rush rushing this through a little bit 
because why, you know? Why drag out the time when I don't have that much to show? Yes, and my heaven and earth. I say that mirrors are e easy to stitch. It is, and the sampler was easy to stitch. I mean, this sampler just has cross stitches. I haven't, haven't gotten to any specialty stitches because then it's not gonna be easy because I don't know how to do it. I'm a totally newbie there, but on heaven and earth, I'm not a noob. And when I sit down and stitch on my heaven and earth, it's just, as I said, I feel at home. It's, it's so nice and easy and I can just let my thoughts go, you know, and just everything starts popping off, up, you know, things I've forgotten and everything. Yeah. So this is also on a uh, frame. So I will just take off the bars because we're going to spin the wheel. And I'm quite sure that it's not going to be the Grandmaster, but I might sneak it in a little bit this week anyway, because I was stitching with 3756. I'm extreme cross country stitching the Grandmaster. And I finished all the 3865, which was like insane. I think it was over 20,000 stitches. Yeah. So it was time for the 3756 and there was just about 6,000 stitches and I stitched 3,000 this week. And then I'm thinking, well, if I could do that on a working week and I'm off next week, I should be able to, to finish the, the the last 3000 on my grandmaster so i might i might i might because when you stitch you like all the stitches of the same color you don't have to switch all the time like when you're parking for example so it's very nice and easy so this is huge because it's a super sized and it's max colors <coughs> And I don't know how to show it to you <laughs> without, you know, I need to, I'm sorry, I need to move the camera a little bit so you can see. And it's going to white out. Okay, so we have the head and the birds. So you won't be able to see anything that I've stitched because the 37 56 is almost as white as the 3865. So let's roll down. We have the birds on the top and his head. And then we're getting to the neck. And after the neck, the body comes along. And we have details on his body all over. And then we get to all the birds he's holding in his hands and I finish that and I'm over at this side and stitching. So there's going to be plenty of more here and at the bottom. So that's all. I can't show you <laughs> any other way because it's huge and I love it. I love, love, love it. So I can't show you much. I will move a little bit again, like so, yeah. Yeah, so that's that. I mean, that's kind of boring with all white. And also, you know, I have been thinking of doing a whip and shot, but I'm like, you're not gonna be able to see anything because it's like, I mean, black on white, just watching someone stitch black. Well, I wouldn't mind it, but maybe, I mean, how fun can it be? Uh, since I don't, I don't have that much to talk about. I like, I'm, I work, I go home, I eat, I stitch, I sleep. That's what I do. Um, so I'm thinking, well, then watching you stitch just white on white and almost white on white, I mean, Last weekend when I was stitching, I stitched 2,000 stitches on Sunday. And in the evening, my eyes were like, Rrr! 
going like this. I'm like, I don't know. Because I've stitched all the whites and oh no, it was just crazy on my eyes. But hey, a small break and then I was good to go again. So 3000 stitches on that. That's kind of nice, I think. Yes. So. Um, yeah. I want to spin the wheel now because I want to know what I'm going to stitch on this coming week. So let's spin the wheel. All right. Let's see. Let's go to my spin the wheel. And we're going to choose. Uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, let's choose the head wheel. Oh my God. What if it picks something I don't want to stitch? Let's go. Midnight Watcher again. Oh, that was boring. <laughs> that was a different reaction than the last time when, uh, when the Grandmaster was chosen. Excuse me. A floss card had fallen to the ground. Um, so, Midnight Watcher again. Should I go pick her? Should I go and pick her up? So you can see where I was like, was it two weeks ago? <laughs> I think I'm going to cry. Um, I will go pick her up. Just hang on. Go grab some coffee. Hello. Well, that makes it easier uh, for me to decide that I am going to stitch the rest of the 3000 stitches on my grandmaster. But I will follow what the wheel tells me to do. It's my stitching guru, I guess, unless it would pick like training resistance again. Because I wouldn't stitch black background again. So let's see. I, I know I enjoyed stitching on my uh, Midnight Watcher. So this is uh, where I'm at now. So. Maybe I will get a lot of progress then because I have a week where I'm not working. Yes. I was hoping for the wheel to pick like a bookshelf, you know, like for example, this one over here, Once Upon a Fairy Tale. But I'm gonna go with the wheel. Absolutely, I will just do that. It's gonna be fine. So that was that. And I have my flosses here, um, yeah, my floss card, which I bought many years ago. So, uh, so let's jump over to haul. No, let's wait because I don't have that much haul. Uh, since I, uh, since I picked, since the wheel picked uh, Midnight Watcher. Uh, let's just talk about the, the plans for the coming week. So we'll stitch on that then and my Mirabilia. Uh, I will continue on my sampler. I Maybe I will finish, try to finish the, the frame on the sampler. Or I will, I know there are some birds up in the corners, which I'm a, a little bit curious about. So let's see. And yes, I will definitely try to to get in those last 3000 stitches of the 3756 because then I am done with two colors on that. And for me, that is great progress. That's the plans. Uh, so, haul. I have almost nothing. I have 
two pieces of fabric and it is from XU Designs on Etsy. She lives in Hungary and she was recommended by uh, Nicola Parkman and she said, Nicola said on her floss tube, if you want to get some real nice sampler colored uh, fabric, contact, uh, what's her name? Judy? Jude? To contact her and ask for a frappuccino. So I did that on 46 count. And it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. And this is, it looks so white. If I pull it over here. Oh, it smells so nice. I think. Okay. Surprise. I didn't know that. Okay. What happened here? Oh. A receipt. But come on, seriously, I totally missed this. She added some nice silk threads. Stormy blue, six ply premium silk thread, come on. But my God, what a nice surprise. I didn't know. So, oh, it's so nice and soft. And the color is beautiful. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I did not know. Cool. So here's her card. And it's, and it's gonna be all blurry and stuff. So never mind. I didn't know. What a surprise. A nice surprise. Anyway, so this is this frappuccino. I will just hold it. Yeah, hold it on your mic, Linda. That's really good. Yeah. Uh, very nice. It has like, um, for me, it feels like a little bit reddish brown. There's a tint of red in it. Frappuccino, 46 count. Swigart, Swigart, Bergen, Linen so tiny and beautiful and she has searched the edges come on um i can't quite remember to which sampler i ordered this for uh, but i think it is for uh i think it's called oh it's fids the one uh, they're having a stitch along from last year i think there is quite a few specialty stitches and stuff. I think last floss tube, I showed you the, the silk threads I had ordered for it, the Soy 103. So I, th I think that's the one I ordered it for. Um, and I think the, the threads, the colors is going to be, are going to be perfect for this. And then I was very curious on this other and it was called My Little Dove and it was a little gray um, and it looked very nice on Etsy. I bought, bought this from Etsy. Um, and it is a 40 count uh, Newcastle linen from Swigard. And it is... Uh, more yeah it's it's difficult in this light I'm sorry but um, a bit grayish and it's just so beautiful and I ordered it for this um, this design like a cherry blossom and I think this uh, these colors because there's a lot of um, white I think white flowers and I think they were gonna they're gonna stand out perfect on this uh, fabric so those are the two and I'm really looking forward to try her fabrics 
uh, because if they are as good as Nicola says, and I truly trust Nicola, th this is uh, my place to go for my samplers, for sure. So, yeah. That is all the haul I have. I'm trying to think if I've ordered any patterns or anything, but no, not since uh, last week. I have ordered other things, but uh, nothing I can show. Um, uh, I wanted to share with you guys because I love Heaven and Earth so much. I think it would be kind of fun to take a look at uh, their releases the, this week. So I will kind of, um, I don't know if I'm going to just put in pictures here or all over the screen or whatever. Uh, but I will have to look in my iPad uh, to see. Okay, so let's go to the new releases. And Monday was uh, the 10th of... August and we have Home on the Range and is a uh, Jeff Haney and Mini Virgo. I think these are yeah, there's no background on this one. They were so nice colors, aren't they? Now what's next? Oh, I like this one. Mini Santa, also with no background. It's by Vincent Fleming. I just love it. I like the way that they're, you know, uh, the reindeers and Santa is like swishing by, you know very beautiful and oh yeah we have this beautiful mermaid it's also a mini dark waters by jessica elaine her mermaids are just so beautiful look at that so pretty yeah very beautiful Oh yeah, and we can tell we're getting closer to Halloween because there are some Halloweenish stuff coming out. We have the mini zombie cats. <laughs> I think this one is kind of fun. It's by also Jeff Haney. It's very cool. It's like whoa, <laughs> yeah. Go to the humans and trick or treat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Yes, let's see. What else did come out? Um, this is also like Halloween. Um, Halloweenish. It's by also Jeff Haney. A mini autumn day of the dead cat. Oh, and he has his food there. Yum, yum. <laughs> Pretty. And what this this Celtic dragons fire. It's by Kristen Fox. Pretty cool, huh? Oh, this was was this was 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 what? Mini black on black. So pretty. Oh, look at those eyes. Wow. Who's the um, designer? Oh, Irina Mashova. Yes. No. Mashova. Irina Garmashova. Pretty. But Im uh, can you imagine stitching all that black? <laughs> yeah. And this must also be Irina, 
Garmashova. Yes, and this is mini favorite place. So pretty. I like the other one better though. Yeah. And mini poof. Ash Evans, yes, she is great with these cat pictures. He reminds me a little bit about that, um, you know, the movie Gremlins and Gizmo, the Mogwai. <laughs> the cat actually reminds me of that, his eyes. Yeah, yeah, that was cute. And oh, this is my favorite. This is so nice. Comforts of Home by Terry Redlin. Ooh. Yeah. And the Canada, Canadian geese are up there in the sky. I love Canadian geese. There's like, you know, when they're flying, you know, coming and going when winter and summer is coming, I have to stop. I have to watch them. I have to listen to them. They are so beautiful. I love this picture. Imagine to live like that. Oh my God. Yeah, this is my favorite this week. And we had another mermaid. Mermaid. Anne Stokes. Sailor's Ruin. It's kind of pretty. Pretty, pretty. Yeah. It's cool. It's a bit of a dragon feeling there as well, isn't it? I think that's all. Yeah. So those were the releases from Heaven and Earth Designs this past week. And on Wednesdays, Heaven and Earth has, I think they still have it, like specialty Wednesday or something. So then they release all the special request for people who wants to have super sized or quick stitches or, you know, color expansions or minis or whatever. I have, I think have come to an end now. Yes. I'm eager to get this edited and I don't understand myself seriously. I say that I don't want to edit I don't want to spend the time doing it because it will, you know, keep me from stitching. It will keep me from recording. And then I add stuff to my floss tube, which needs editing all the time. I like to edit. It's not that. It's just the time. I spend usually my whole Saturday, you know, first I stitch, then I film, and then I need to edit, and then I need to, you know, render the movie and export it and upload it and it just takes forever and that is why sometimes i can't release it the same day i can help it but yes let's just as i usually say let's stop talking let's hit the chair and our cross stitching and enjoy this day i cannot i've actually been out for a long walk today actually before it turned too hot because I hate the heat. I'm melting, you know, seriously melting. And I can't wait for this heat to be over and for autumn or fall to come. <sighs> yeah. Anyway. Enjoy the rest of the day. Uh, keep your distances, okay? Wash your hands. Stay home if you have any symptoms. I say this like every day at work. So I have to tell you too. And just take care. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the coming week. Bye. Thank you.